thought I'd do a video just to go over my plans for my uh, workshop. Um, it's a bit chaotic at the moment. Um, every task has its own ta prerequisite task, and every prerequisite task has another prerequisite task, um, which I'll cover in a bit. But um, at the moment, I'm kind of stacking up all my extra bits here. I've got lumber outside in about three different locations. Um, yeah, I don't know where I'm going to keep it. Um, the idea would be up in the rafters up there, but that's just full with boxes, which are related to a hobby that I have of collecting resin statues. There's the two workbenches that I made. Um, I was going to do a third one, um, but until I get this garage organized, I just don't really want to have to be pushing around a third table in here. Plan is to get rid of that white old shelf there, uh, but in about three, four weeks, I've got a new electric roller garage coming. Um, problem with this one is it folds in and it prevents me from having stuff that's too tall. Uh, I keep putting stuff on the cabinet there and it just gets knocked back again when I open it. Um, so the roller door will allow me to build up some cupboards closer to the door. Um, so the plan is have a floor to ceiling door uh, cupboard there and a floor to ceiling cupboard there and both will open up and meet in the middle and, and now this serves two purposes. They're going to be about 30 centimeters, 300 millimeters wide on each side, so it keeps them nice and compact. They're going to have two sides to them inside. Um, but yeah, when these cupboards open up, I'll have them so they lock in place. So if anyone happens to get the electric roller door open, they're going to be faced with like a plywood wall <laughs> and just assume that it's permanently blocked off. Um, so that's the plan anyway. Um, and the door that's right behind me for getting in, I'm going to be making it a better making a better door that'll be a project of mine making a bigger better door secure door anyway i'm probably waffling on but yeah so that's going to go um so this whole back end from about i think it's going to cupboard will come to about i work out about there and then it will come to there and they will both fold in um obviously that whole floor space means has to be kept clear because the cupboards will open up um, but that's fine because when i'm in here working um, basically I'll have just one, two, three, four good areas of wall shelf with tools and so I can just walk up and grab off what I want. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. So I'm going to be building that in about, well, actually I'm going to build that in about four or five days. I'll start building it when the lumber arrives. So once that's done, garage door in, task one. I'm going to pre-build the cupboards before the doors arrive, garage doors arrive, garage door, one door. And then so I'll put the cupboards in there, they'll be ground the floor, probably. Um, and once that's done, then this other, let's call it three quarters of the garage, um, I'm going to figure out where my tools, my table saw, my uh, miter saw, because um, I need to find at least a semi-permanent place where I'm going to keep these. Um, because at some point I need to set up the extractor uh, pipes, uh, dust extractor, and I'll have them going up to wherever the tool's going to be and they will connect in with the table saw, connect in with the miter saw. Um, I'm definitely missing the main one. Uh, the thickness is down there. Uh, right, something else I'll show here is I got this JSP uh, power cap um, mask. Now let me see if I can get this open with one hand. Oh my god. This thing's brilliant. It's got like a uh, filters on it and it's got a little fan that blows air, fresh air in, um, which obviously stops it fogging up as well. Um, when you're kind of sanding in a garage like this, you make a lot of noise. Neighbors are close, so you keep the doors closed, which means you're trapped in here with a bunch of micro sized dust particles that you're breathing in. This keeps them all out. Um, it's not cheap, like 250 quid. I thought, Jesus Christ. That's a lot of money, but as soon as I started using it, oh, I could tell the difference. You know, um, you know, I can be in here with a room full of dust, and you know, this thing will keep it out. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend it. Although I've only used it about four times in the last month, I've had it. Um, so yeah, time will tell. Yeah, so all this stuff will go in the big new cupboards. Uh, power tools go in the big new cupboards. Now I went down the Ryobi because. Roby are okay value, the prices aren't insane, and I'd say they're in the top five as far as brands. Um, now, the reason I went Ryobi, um, well that was the reason, but the reason I bought two extra things as Ryobi is because I didn't have to buy batteries for these because I already had two batteries. Um, so yeah, so that was the plan. Um, let's move on, and I bought these on Amazon, and 
I just wanted something quick to be able to get out specific size screws. Um, I think, I can't remember, they're about 15 quid each. So I bought a few of them. Um, yeah, and then so I need like the 100 uh, millimeter length ones, the 70s and stuff. Easy access, go grab them. Now I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my steel tool cabinet. I'm probably going to move it down that end possibly out of the way. Um, I'm hoping to get most of my stuff into the new cupboards, so we'll see. Um, I'll keep it as long as I've got space for it. Um, but at the moment, yeah, I just keep a lot of stuff in there. Like, I mean, I've done a lot of DIY on my house, so I've got everything. You know, I've got a load of stuff from, you know, carpet stretches to plastering stuff to um, tiling stuff to electrical stuff, the Waco bits, you know, stuff that you may or may not need again, so you never throw it out. And I always find there's always the top 20, 30 things you always need that you always put away and then 10 minutes later you're pulling it out again, sometimes 10 seconds later. So um, I've decided that for now I'm just throwing it all down there. Um, spot the mirrors, um, yeah, I went all out when I had a gym here. Um, got the gym equipment, got the mirrors, never used the gym. <laughs> so now I'm just using it for um, a few notes and stuff, but I will get rid of it, um, get rid of the mirrors. Um, eventually I'm gonna swing a board around and just shatter them. Anyway, that's a babbling tour of my workshop and where it's at, at the moment. Um, plan is over the next couple of years, get it looking a lot better um, and so I can focus on making stuff, not how good my workshop is. And in case anyone's wondering, uh, nah, I'm not an experienced tradesman or woodworker or anything. Um, did a lot of DIY around my house when I bought it six, seven years ago. Um, so I've found common sense goes a long way. Okay, so what's my long-term plan is um, just get better at woodworking, making a whole bunch of new products like uh, furniture and different things and um, just sell it because obviously I just can't keep everything I make. You know, if I was rich and I had a huge house, you know, I'd probably just make a whole bunch of stuff and just keep it in a shed somewhere, but I can't do that. So the plan is to get good enough that I can sell it, you know, and people will want to buy it. And that's it. Until next time. Um, yeah, if you want to follow my progress, um, like, comment, and subscribe. Later.